Assalamu alaikum. This is your sister Naima B. Robert here, and I'm passing by to do a little story time, if you like. Many, many years ago, I was a young mum in an apartment in South London. I had been Muslim for about a year, maybe more. I had adopted by that time the hijab, the jilbab, the niqab, and I was going to a local masjid. All my friends were just like me, dressed just like me. We were all on the same journey together, young Muslim sisters, reverts, returnees, all of us on this journey of living life as a Muslim woman. And being a writer was never part of the vision. It wasn't something that I thought about. It wasn't something that I dreamt about. It was not something that I brought with me from Jahiliya. And it was only because I realized that there was a huge gap for children that I actually started writing books about Muslims and about Muslim life because I wanted my son to have access to those books. But in terms of writing a book for adults, it just was never on my radar until I was given an opportunity to meet with the woman who became my agent, Sherry. And she was taken aback by my appearance. We were supposed to work together on a children's book. And she said, let's meet up for a drink. We can go through it all. And I remember at that time feeling so uncomfortable because I knew how business was done, obviously, because, you know, from Jahiliya, you just know how people do things. But I also knew that that wouldn't work for me. So I came up with a workaround and I said to her, well, why don't you come to my house? Because I cover fully. So not everywhere that we would go would be appropriate. Those days I used to feel very, very self-conscious when I went out into public where I would be the only Nakabi, right? And she said, okay, fine, lovely, I will come round. But she was shocked by the fact that I cover fully and she asked me so many questions. And I said to her, you know what? I just wish I could write a book to answer all of these questions. And that was the catalyst for her saying, well, why don't you put something together and I'll go see if I can sell it. Now, I tell this story to illustrate to you that Sometimes life gives you an opportunity to be a catalyst for change. I knew at that time that the way that Muslim women were being represented in the media did not correlate with my reality. Everywhere you looked, books, films, TV series, the covered Muslim woman was depicted as oppressed, repressed, depressed, every kind of oppressed. She was a woman who had no voice, who had no say, who had no agency. She was a victim. Her life was a life of sacrifice and drudgery. There was no love, there was no joy, there was no beauty in the way that we were depicted as Muslim women. And that bothered me because it was so alien to the reality that I was living and what I saw my friends living. And subhanAllah, like when I say to have been given the opportunity to counter that narrative with my memoir from my sister's lips is possibly the highest honor that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given me, aside from, you know, being the mother to my children. When it comes to creative works, I believe that being given the opportunity to counter the misconceptions, to address the prejudices, to open up the truth of our lives to the widest audience ever is one of the highest honors that I've been given by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I've seen how it has changed lives. Whether it is a non-Muslim reading this book and realizing that everything that they thought they knew about Muslim women is untrue, or somebody looking into Islam, but nervous and scared and not really knowing what it will be like on the other side, being able to see a vision for herself inside this religion and inside this faith. All Muslims who read the book and were touched by the zeal and the enthusiasm and the love that we had for this deen that we had embraced. And for every one of those people to be somehow changed somehow moved, somehow enlightened by me simply telling my story and the story of other women? Come on, man, that's huge. How many of us get the chance to do that? Well, as it turns out, it's not as hard as I thought. And 
as I've, mashallah, tabarakallah, been able to build on the foundation that from my sister's lips kind of built for me and for other sisters with Sisters Magazine and with subsequent books with Show Up and more books to come, inshallah, I realized that truly every one of us has a book inside us. Every one of us has a story, a story that matters to someone, to 10 people, 100 people, 1,000, 10,000. A message that will resonate with people out there who are suffering. Knowledge that will benefit those out there who are in ignorance and darkness right now. And if there is anything that my journey has taught me and my work as a book coach has taught me is that once you realize the gold that is in your story, in your message, in your knowledge, once you realize that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you this gift and that that gift is to be shared, when you own your story and you give yourself permission to serve, to put it out into the world for the benefit of the people, for the sake of Allah, amazing things happen. I've seen it with myself. I've seen it with colleagues. I've seen it with clients. This isn't hyperbole, this is real. And so if any of this resonates with you, if there is any part of you that feels like, I know I have something of value to share, I just don't know whether I can do it, whether I can do it justice, whether I can do it properly, whether I can complete it, I want you to come to our five day book challenge. I want you to choose Choose yourself and your story today. Don't put it off. Don't make excuses. We've removed all excuses. <laughs> We've removed every excuse. I, sis, listen to me. I'm going to train you. I'm going to coach you. I'm going to encourage you and support you. And I'm going to show you how to take that story, that message, that knowledge, and put it into a book that will benefit others. So if you're down for that, then make sure that you secure your place, register for your free spot in the five day book challenge this month. This may be the only time we do this. All my team are on board to treat you guys like our paid clients, to treat you just like we treat the ladies in our program, to walk you through the exact same steps as we walk our ladies through. So take advantage of this opportunity, whether it's because you know that this is the move you need to make in order to make this dream a reality, or you wanna experience what it's like to be coached by me, or you wanna give my team a try, or you just wanna be in a space with other sisters who are all intentional about writing a book that will build a legacy, you need to be part of this challenge. So click on the link, secure your spot, and promise me this, that when you get into that challenge, once that five day challenge kicks off, you will play full out with a pure intention. And if you need to be reminded of the impact of a book, just ask yourself, think back to a book that you read that changed your life. The person who wrote that book, it may have been hard for them. It may have been uncomfortable for them to share what they did to research the way they research, to do the work of writing. It may have taken them a lot of devotion and commitment. They may have had to sacrifice. They may have even faced backlash. But they went through that in order for their story, their message, their knowledge to be heard. And now it gets to change your life and the, chain, and the lives of however many thousands, millions of others. You're no different. I'm no different. My clients, they're no different. What you need to do right now is claim your dream and step up, step up to get the help that you need. Claim that free spot and I'll see you on the other side, inshallah. <laughs>